How to calculate centuries? We know the time. We know a year has 365 days and every four years we add another day. A lustrum has five years, a decade 10 years, a century 100 years, and a millennium 1000 years. We have Roman numbers for our centuries and they look like this. An I means 1, B is 5, X is 10, L is 50, C is 100, D is 500, and M is 1000. But what about 2 and 3? Well, you can use an I three times. And there you have 3. But you can do that four times. You need a V and add an I to the left. Then you have 4. There you have 5. But what about 6? You add an I but to the right. And then you have 6. And remember, you can use three I's. So you have 5, 6, 7, 8 but not a 9, because in that case you need an X with an I to the left. There you have 9, there you have 10, and 11, well, you add an I to the right. Then you have 11, the same with 12 and 13. Okay, it's kind of complicated to use it every day, so that's why we only use it for centuries and book chapters and kings and dynasties. So a century goes from the year 1 to 100, that is the first century, the 101 to 200, that is the second century, the 201 to 300, we have the third century, the 301 to 400 is the fourth century, and on and on. So let's see the year 135, a three-digit number. We see the hundreds, the tens, the ones, and we have to point the first one, the hundreds, and we add one. One plus one equals two. So the year 135 is the second century. The year 596, well, we have the five. Five plus one equals six. So the year 596 is the sixth century century. But what about 700? Well, remember it's a round number, so from 601 to 700 it will be the 7th century. For the 8th century it will have to be 701. There you have 7 plus 1 equals 8. Now we have the 8th century. Remember what we said before, from 101 to 200 is the second century, and on and on. So that's why 700 is still the seventh century. Now we have a four-digit number. So in the year 1395, we have thousand, the hundreds, the tens, the ones, but we need the two first figures, you know, the thousand and the hundred, and we add one. So, 13 plus one is 14. So, the year 1395 will be the 14th century. Well, we have the year 2022, you know, 2022, and we need the two first figures and we add 1. 20 plus 1 is 21, and that's why we are in the 21st century. In 1999, we were ready to celebrate the 2000, but was it a new century? Was it a new millennium? Well, now we know that not the 2000 was not the new millennium, neither the new century from 1901 to 2000 was still the 20th century. We needed the 2001, and there you have it, the beginning of the 21st century. But we celebrated anyhow. So let's practice. What century are we talking about with the number 99? Do you remember? From 1 to 100 is the first century. What about 733. Remember, 7 plus 1 is 8, the 8th century. And what about 600? And what about 1721? 
Do you know that? Go and practice. <laughs>